guys it's your girl simply china and today i am back with another vision pro video and if you haven't done so already let me just rewind i want you to take a look at all the unboxings the first reviews all of that i'm gonna have them linked down below but we're gonna get into this video because this is something that i felt like i needed to share with you guys and i needed to share it like asap <laughs> okay you guys so today as you guys already see from the you know title your girl's coming with the gems okay so for all my vision pro users you guys already know for the most part it's been a great experience with the apple vision pros i haven't really had any problems with them um and i'm very shocked because like i mentioned before i've had iphones including this one that um let's just say almost caught on fire so i was really expecting the vision pros to be really buggy really hard to kind of like work with as far as like the first um model of its kind so to see that it's just so easy streamlined you feel like you've been using this product before it's really 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 good on apple's part so i give you guys a thumbs up on that um but and today we're going to show you how to connect your vision pros to your macbook pro so the vision pros are you are able to sync your macbook pro to your vision pros and this is something that i don't believe has been a part of the when you go into the apple store and you do like the whole immersion experience and you try on the goggles like they don't really show how to do that so this is something that i want to show you guys how to do because funny enough not everyone has been able to connect their macbook pro with the vision pros and i would say that might be like one of the bugs that i've caught thus far i've been working um very closely with apple and kind of just reporting some of the issues and like updating them on things that we can fix or enhance and this is one of the issues that i would say that has been ongoing and a lot of individuals have not been able to connect their macbook pro to their vision pros so to put your vision pros on your face look at your apple macbook pro computer and you should see a connection at the very top a lot of people are not seeing that so including myself so what i had to do to find a workaround i'm going to do is i'm going to put the vision pros on and i'm going to show you guys what is not working and then i'm going to show you guys how to fix that so i'm going to put my vision pros on and make sure you adjust it hold it from the front as i mentioned before make sure that you're holding it from the front okay what you want to do, I'm going to begin my immersion environment because I just feel like around me is so messy right now, but let's see. So what we're going to do I'm going to show you guys what it is that I see on my Vision Pros. So right now this is what I see. I see as you guys can see all of my apps these are all of the apps that i have um right now and i'm going to come out of the environment just slightly just to show you that when i look at my macbook i'm not going to see any connecting or anything like that so let's come out of the environment and you're supposed to just be able to look at your macbook right you're supposed to be able to look at it and just see it now i'm gonna bring up the brightness because i know a lot of people are just like oh maybe it's the brightness maybe it's that i've done all of that so i'm looking at it nothing comes up so now the fix that we're going to talk about i'm going to screen share at least actually i might not need to screen share but what we'll do is we're going to go to display you're going to go to display settings and you have to make sure that you're computer is up to date on the sonoma i have it the latest version i'm not gonna share this part but it has to be sonoma 14.2 14.3 we're up to 14.3 so it needs to be updated you want to make sure you have that once you have that you'll see the option to add add apple vision pro once you're it once you press that now you'll see your macbook pro and we're going to go back into the environment 
just so that you guys can focus on what it is that I, I'm showing you. So now you guys can see the Apple Vision Pro. I'm using my mouse that is a part of my trackpad to move around here. It's not my fingers that I'm using. And yes, you are able to um, have multiple apps open. So for example, if I wanted to watch Disney Plus on the side, I'm able to do that. And I'm able to have my, um, let me just go. So yes, so I'm able to have my Disney Plus on the side and I'm able to have my computer here. But as I mentioned to you guys, it's this area that you have to go to. So we're going to go over the steps here because it's a little bit clearer um, than you looking at it through the Vision Pro um, screen. But you're going to go to display, display settings. You're going to add and then you should see your Apple Vision Pros. And this is going to be this is going to be the best way to do it, honestly. So make sure that, you know, if, if you're having the issue, have make sure you update your Mac iOS. So your Mac should be updated to the latest version. Once you update your Mac to the latest version, you will be able to display it. So this is the easier of the two. Hopefully, once they start pushing new um, versions, new Vision Pro versions, this will be a fix that you know will come across the line. But a lot of people have been having this problem. So I hope that this helps and this will allow you now to use your computer. So I hope this video helps a lot of people and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to, like I said, thumbs up and comment any questions you guys have. I've been trying to really make this a very strong series. So feel free to comment, you know, any concerns, any issues, things of that nature. And I'll see you guys in my next video.